so there is a few things to do before we move on to the next territory. Uh, first, I want to do some upgrades to our settlement. Uh, I believe this is actually part 30 of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Part 30. Madness. <laughs> uh, if you guys are still watching, I appreciate all the love and support. Oh, so this cattle farm gives us plus 3% plus 3 range damage. Not bad. If we have a feast. Okay. Fair enough. But still. Upgrades done. Cattle firing him. Oh yeah. There's a few upgrades Seven, over here yeah, as well. I don't know how much upgrades I have. No, that's it. <laughs> that's all I can do. Great. Fine. Uh, Uber is, I believe, at our settlement right now. I'm guessing he's going to ask for some help. Some assistance. Also, I have two hammers now. Yep. Two hammers. I'm excited to try it out. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see, I guess. Is it good? Is it worthy of Ava? Wow, it's dark over here. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Also, I could thank you. Thank me? For, For sending what? my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolfkist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield if the fates are kind. Yay! I was expecting some bad news. <laughs> Yay! Good. Okay, I'll take that. What do you give us? A silver ring. I guess we can just sell that? So because we let Ivar go to Valhalla, we gave him his axe. He left with honor. Uber was like, thank you for that. You could have easily acted very, very differently. So I appreciate that. Uh, there's a quest. Yes. Um, Half Dan is currently in trouble. I know. We just helped him out and he's already having issues. It's, uh, yeah, not not great. I don't think this is a, a main mission, by the way. I think it's just, but uh, well, it might be. I guess if you want allies ready and available, you have to do this mission. So let's get it done. Let's see what's going on. What trickery has happened? Maybe we killed the, the wrong traitor, potentially. Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I wonder when we're going to get the next um, Assassin's Creed game. Will it be next year, like a yearly franchise again? Or are we going to be waiting like another year? A sort of year gap. Will it be next gen only? So many questions. This was the biggest selling Assassin's Creed game ever. They are definitely not stopping it, that's for sure. And Ubisoft were struggling a tiny bit for sales, so they're going to be very, very happy. And hopefully they can pump in some uh, some talent, some money into the next one. I'm still excited for it. I think there's still a lot of possibilities I'd like to see. Japanese, of course. Assassin's Creed game would be incredible. Um, yeah. So much I want to see from Assassin's Creed. But they have to try and change the formula a little bit. Tawny bit. I wonder how Hafton fares now that he sits on the throne. Oh, apparently he's not here, which is a concern. Moira. Where is he? Moira, is something wrong? Weep for Northumbria. Is it Hafton? Has he gotten worse? His heart is broken. He's a mere shadow of himself. With Faravid lost and his brothers away, he wallows in paranoia oh, and no. sadness. I could speak with him. Where is he now? Wandering the fields of Pitteringa with his beloved Beonton. I'll find him. Thank you, Moria. Pitteringa is in So he just sort of lost it just a bit. Just follow the road to Scarborough. Uh, have I screwed up in the last episode? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you? Like in the middle of nowhere. Hafton, where are you? 
I promise we can we can survive this. I promise. Have a look, okay, All the way up there. Okay, we're a little no. way off yet. Looks like a little suburb. Is that a rabbit? Right, so I believe he is just here. Where is he? I need to speak to him. To restore his mind. We need a king. We need the rightful king. Where is he? I'm in the right area. Ah, oh, there he is. Is he okay? No glory. What is he no doing here? Hopes. Stand up, Hafton. I'm taking you back to Jorvik. <laughs> Up, my lord. You're a king. You're not allowed to sulk. Men bled and died to sit you on that throne. So go, sit. My brother, Ivar. Did he die well? He died fighting. You slew my brother and never said a ah. word. You kept this from me. It was no secret. Abba knew. Did he not... Leave me. I will not. I've come to see you safely home. Now get up. I... I mislaid my hammer. I think Beonton ran off with it, but I'm not... I'm not... Uh, I'm not well, Ava. I'll find your hammer, and then you'll come with me. I was on my way to Scarborough. If you find my hammer, bring it to me there. We're going to find your hammer now. Your dog took your hammer. What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Stand up! So you didn't actually know that we killed his brother. I, I did... I did wonder. <laughs> I must be honest. The fact he never asked about it. Um, but yeah, he never asked, so I, I, I never answered. So, yeah. So the dogs run off with the hammer. And then hopefully we can go home after that. Go. My There's somebody eyes. up there. Go! That's where the mystery is. Where is the hammer? Doggy! Where are you? Can we get down from there? Can we get down from here? That's a no. I think he's just a bit lonely, to be honest. He's just... He's lost so many people, so many friends, so much family. Just He doesn't know what to do anymore. There's Bjornton, guarding the hammer. Oh, God. I can help, I can help. But if he loses his dog as well, that'll be the end of it. Oh, he got me mid-flow. Defending the hammer with glory. King will be impressed. There's the hammer. Half drunk needs his hammer. Alright, we have the hammer back. Hopefully we can try and keep it. That'd be good. Uh, right, where are we going to now? We're going to there. There's been a lot of travelling in this episode. Luckily I cut most of it out. <laughs> uh, honestly, the videos would be... I don't know, I think the last episode was about, as far as I was recording for about two and a half hours. I think I cut it down quite a bit. I was trying to keep it just as entertaining as possible, get the, just kind of try and concise it a little bit, make it as, yeah. All right, is he here? I feel like the view's gonna be quite good. That's for sure. Also, we can sync up. As I'm here, I'm all as well. Why not? Don't have to ask me twice. And then we will find him. We will reunite him with his hammer. I can't imagine the dog, the dog taking a hammer. I reckon he left it there. And the dog stayed there to defend it. I think that's what happened. The guy's a drunk. A useless drunk king. With no friends. 
Sounds like me with no with no kingship. <laughs> Basically. Oh funny. Right, let's think up. That is quite the view. I wish it was um daylight. Look even better. We are insanely high up here. This might be the highest point in the game. At least in England. Right, where is he? Where's the king? He's hanging literally on the edge. Lighthouse. After the waits. This hammer is not meant to be thrown, Halfton. Remember that next time. He threw it. <laughs> <laughs> My father, Ragnar, he gifted this to me. Took it off a Finnish chief. Still warm with blood when he handed it to me. I had 14 winters. Ragnar Lothbrok was a great king. A Finnish arrow killed my mother. A shield maiden she was, as fierce as a wolf swallowing the sun. My father swore to kill the men who took her from us, and he did. Fourteen against one. But that was years ago in the east. And this is the west, where my father lies dead. A pile of bones in a pit of snakes. And here we are, still telling stories of his life and deeds. How did my brother die? Are, are we honest here? We're gonna be honest. Um, well, <laughs> he didn't die a, a coward, that's for sure. He died a warrior. With his hand on his axe, awaiting the maidens of the battle slain. How he drinks at our father's side, awaiting the war at the end of days. Veonton, my boy! <laughs> Come here, boy! What a loyal dog. The dog always forgives, but he needs you home. All of Northumbria does. <clears throat> Do a last thing for me. Light the beacon for all to see, and let it burn. All right, I can do that. I would like the beacon. Is that... Where is the beacon? <laughs> Must be on top, right? You'd hope. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can light the beacon. The North is ours. He knows how much of a handful his brother was. How much of a loon he was. He knows that he probably had to die at some point. Because he was completely mad. Mad with power. I was literally just up here. This always happens to me. I tried to like, sk not skip ahead as such, but... I try and do like a side quest. A side quest? <laughs> a side quest or a side objective. And then I come back and do it again. Right, let's light the cauldron. There you go. Lost glory, indeed. Is it done? Is he, is he going back home? A leather ball. A soccer ball. Thank you, friend. You are always welcome at my hall. Good. That's what I like to hear. Good boy. He's off on a long stroll. Right, so I think as far as I can tell, that is done. That is solved. Great news for us. Happy with that. Uh, a couple of skill points. I was heading towards... Ah. Terra. Yes. There we go, Terra on the battlefield. So if we do a stun finisher, I guess with a bow or with an axe or weapon, 
a melee weapon, I'm guessing I get a little bit terrified. <laughs> and they want to run for the hills. Good. Right, where should we start next? So I reckon Gunner is roughly here. Yeah. That's where I'm hoping anyway. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? But I think that's roughly where he is. So that is where we're going. And I have a long, long ride ahead. Right, so I'm pretty sure this is where Gunner is. Uh, don't quote me on that, but we'll see. Um, also, there is a sink point. I think that'd be a good place to start. And I can send out my raven, and we can find where he is. Actually, I would like to speak to a merchant, because if we can get, I think, roughly 100 ore, I can basically upgrade my rations, which I would 100% love to do right now. Is it a meal? Does this town feel a bit, a bit derelict? Not in, not in great shape. Is that a fair assumption to make? Welcome. Oh. Right, see, shop. Always good yes, care. that is what I want. I think I have enough money. Just gonna buy it all. All of it! Give it to me. Yes, 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 yes. 200 ore is now mine. Take care of yourself, Alan. And you? sell my trinkets. I'm only buying these Thank because you. I hope to see you. You will see me around soon, I'm sure. So I should be able to upgrade my rations now to four. Yes! You heard me correctly. And I can now upgrade my boots as well, which I mean meaning to do. Uh, my braces. And that is... Oh no, I can do my boots again. Not bad, not bad. I now need some more ore. So if I see some, I will obviously buy it again. I am quite low on coin. And having a little bit of coin um, on you can be quite, quite useful. Just for convincing people. Put it that way. Yeah, I'm going to climb the top of this church and sink up. I'm pretty sure this is where Gunner is. Definitely not 100% on that, but roughly 90%. <laughs> Guess we'll find out. This could be rather embarrassing. Still, this is, a again, a completely new area for us to explore. Again, I can't explain, fathom how big this game is. I mean, it's just far. It feels like I'm literally just exploring... England, basically. That's what it feels like. England obviously isn't that big. I love how Americans, when they talk about a long car journey, it's like, oh, we have 15 hours. For the UK, it's like two hours. <laughs> oh my god, two hour journey. So long. Can I jump into that little haystack over there? Is that a haystack? Yeah. Whee! There's some leaves. Alright, let's have a look. Is he. What oh, do you my. see? Might have been the wrong place. No, you gotta be kidding me. I said 90% sure. I'm sure he's like here-ish. Let's have a look. Maybe not then. That could be embarrassing. No. <laughs> at least we sing so we'll probably have to come back here at some point. Who's whistling? I love how every territory does feel a bit different. This just has like a weird hobbit vibe, almost. Oh, we are in the right place. Your eyes, my friend. Over there! Yay, we are close! Okay, good. I was getting a bit concerned. Not concerned, probably more embarrassed. So Gunner's trying to find a new love. Obviously, we want to find allies. So, hopefully he can point us in the right direction. We can try and find him a lady. And all be right in the world. There he is. I will. There he is. I found him. It's been too long, my friend. Is that his his little lady? Eivor. Gunnar. Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you've been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget. My own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Lavendinta, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. <laughs> uh, awkward. What, what language is that? When are you marrying? So, is the wedding here? When you spoke of a marriage feast, gunner, I hoped it would be at home. 
No, no, no. We're here for the festival and blessings. Bridget's hand must be given. You know me, Eivor. I'm forged in honor. Who's blessing? I see no pitchfork shaking father or weeping mother. <laughs> Glaua Shistus Elderman Kunan. He helped raise Briggs since she was a pup. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mama dad cut it even gilly than Anun. Couldn't help Druze me. Briggs with Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Exactly. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass gillu. That's a very good clean sound. Is it a really thick accent right? or no what? No daylight to waste, then, huh? I don't know what's going on. Is it a fake accent? So the Elderman may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. Hmm. And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition. Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. Why? Hmm. No doubt this Elderman will probably want, um, how do I call it, some favours before we become friends. We'll see. Ooh. There's the house. That guy's There's wearing some ankles. Kunan. Oh, it's him. <laughs> Good spot. What are you wearing on your head? Seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevder. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be Elderman after Kunan. Tevder, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? Oh, a bit rude. Uh, what's your problem? No, I shouldn't be too aggressive. Um, so you're the next Elderman, are you? The way people here talk, Kunan's boots will be hard to fill. And your feet look small. <laughs> All good friendships mm. often start with wind mm -hmm. bubbles. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god ride kings for puppet rulers? Oh. Should we just say nothing at all? Say nothing. It's fine. No comment. Yep. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be This is a staring contest. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest, we welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. <laughs> so you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon? 
I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? It's not started out very well, but it could turn into a friendship, maybe? It does seem like a bit of an arse, though. It doesn't like Sound. us, does he? <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I meld them in. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. A festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the night's chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews, and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not four idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Lo, in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look. The path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunin for your safe return. You never know, we might get attacked at any second. You never know. That is a Roman artifact nearby. Can I go and get it, or should I... No, I'll focus on the quest. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, <laughs> Lord, gift upon this lowly servant, your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety. <gasps> it's balls. It's so little piggies. Where did they come from? Perhaps your god <laughs> called for them. <laughs> what was you praying for? How did that miss, honestly? Where's the last one? There he is. I see you. Ah! Yeah. Eat this! And this! That was close. There you go, you're safe now. Eivor, thank you. For saving my life. It's all good. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. <laughs> it's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. 
Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one, find me at the festivities. Find me at the festivities. Okay. Let's go. Let's loot these boars. Did I, did I loot the boar? Oh yeah, the artifact. Yeah. While well, I'm here, if it's nearby, I will grab it. It's normally quite high up, isn't it? Yeah, while I'm here. While I'm here, why not? I feel like this is going to be a slightly different territory in terms of I don't expect an epic battle, <laughs> for example, at the end. Uh, but still, could be some useful, uh, useful friends. I don't know where I am now. Where is the artifact? I can hear it. But I can't see it. Where is it? Is that it there? Oh god, okay. Oops. There is a wolf behind it. That's all I wanted. Back to Ghana! Roman oh. attack. I don't know if I have enough. I know we need five. I don't know what we get for it, but... We basically take it back to the settlement and we get some kind of... reward. I don't know what exactly. Eivor! There you are! Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Brivo. I have no idea what you're saying. He looks more and more confused. Hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. He's alright. Um Do we do we doubt him? I don't know. I'm not really full about it too much to be honest. He's fine. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cuck Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. 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 So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal Anvil is spread down in Creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Clover Shister gives her glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. What? It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Luft. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Let's hooden. Trickle tree. Always a treat. And you cannot Always. have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering. But even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shay. I heard your voice clear as a bell. Pick a tree. We're actually doing Halloween right now. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> what business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewitt. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mary Lewitt haunts my door. Give me sweets. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling. Um, give me, give me some give sweets. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. I love sweets. Oh, some moldy cheese? You kidding me? That's not a cake. Can tricks the spirit see? 
The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Oh, my God. He really wants him to sing, doesn't he? Alright, next door. Trick or treat! Are you ready to rhyme with me? <laughs> Down the road from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and the walking. <laughs> I've been here knocking and the walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! He's impressed. Two mouldy cheese. Wow, must have done well. Lads getting what are we going to do with this? Scaring them. Eat it, I guess. On crackers. Hello? Good. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our store so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar. Gunnar? My cakes. Where's he gone? Fine gamma. Where's he gone? And he's over there. Gunnar! Where? No, I don't want to take a picture. Where are you, Gunnar? It's like he might be getting into a fight. Uh -oh. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats uh, taking what isn't yours. Angry Saxon I'll pick man. Out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. Ooh. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and tour. Christ and tour. You want to go, mate? Big skull, yeah, that, that's correct, I'm not sure. It's you lot we should be burning alive. I think it's both of us. What was that? Oh, he actually got me that time. Are you that's sure you don't want to stay in Glower City? They know how to have fun. Oh. He can fight, to be honest. He's got some very, very random attacks, but... He's actually kicking our ass. Soon as two of us, two Raven Clan members. Trying to see. He's a throat and just. This is a rock. Four spears, my leg. Gunnar. Gunnar is struggling. Oh, finally a dodge. Try it, fool. Whoops. You hurt my gunner. It's gotta be it, surely. He's running away. Mr. Thick Skull. Keep your brawls to Who's the this? other side of the river. There's children about. He started it. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Show him up. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis, Modron's a gumpas to patch this land. Uh, will he be okay? Will he walk again? The gash is deep. If I cannot save the leg, the pigs will eat well tonight. <laughs> that man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire, but I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenny, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I give me strength. My mom modern is known I'm a humor toil good run. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. 
Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Madrum, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Okay. That was quite an eventful uh, fight. He, he fired pretty well, to be honest. Hence the, uh, the damaged leg. There we go. I think we may end it here. It's going to be a slightly shorter episode. It will continue in the next one, I promise. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day. Be safe. Also, enter my giveaway on Twitter where you can win an Xbox Series X right now. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.